file. We are going to start module 1, Foundation of and This module, we will be discussing about psycholinguistics perspective of life. This topic deals with the relationship between language and psychology. How, what happens in our mind when we use language? This is dealt in psychology. So you can see from this picture the three aspects brain, psychology. Cognitive science. All these three are interconnected to each other. So, psycholinguistics is a branch of study which combines the disciplines of psychology and linguistics. It is concerned with the relationship between the human mind and the language as it examines the process that occur in the brain while producing and perceiving. Here are some definitions of psycholinguistics. The study of the mental faculties involved in the perception and acquisition of language. And the another definition is it is study of the relationships between linguistic behavior and psychological processes, including the process of language acquisition. So psycholinguistics or psychology of language is the study of the psychological and neurobiological factors that enable humans to acquire, use, comprehend and produce language. As it is very much visible in this picture, you can see the two parts, the brain, the front part and the back part. The front part helps in producing Whereas the back part helps in the speech processing and understanding the language. So psycholinguistics is a field of research that combines linguistics and psychology to study language comprehension and production. You can see from this picture uh, with uh, uh, four colors, four different colors, it is depicted. Like if we are reading something or hearing something, whether someone has spoken or like anything. So uh, here in the process of reading and listening, the reception process of the brain starts. So the brain starts to receive some messages. It tries to and code those messages. And then after the decoding process starts, means then the brain starts to understand, to comprehend those messages and in the form of some response or the feedback, it uh, uh, starts production of language. All these functions, all these reactions are done under uh, psycholinguistics. So it is a field that spans several disciplines. As a result, it is explored from several perspectives, including psychology, cognitive science, linguistics, and speech and language pathology. There are subdivisions also that include orthography, phonology, semantics, syntax, and story. So, it is a branch of cognitive science that includes psychology, neuroscience, computer science, anthropology, and linguistics. So, from this picture, it is very much visible. You can see how all these fields are interconnected. And there are three primary processes that are investigated in psycholinguistics. The first one is language comprehension, then language production, and then language acquisition. So let us discuss about language comprehension. 
language comprehension means understanding what other people say and write definitely it is more complicated than it might at first appear comprehending language involves a variety of capacities skills processes knowledge and disposition that are used to derive meaning from spoken written and sign language so then then the second stage is language production so language production is the production of spoken or written whether it is even oral or written so it describes all of the stages between comprehension and linguistic then comes language acquisition language acquisition is just one strand of psycholinguistics which is all about how people learn to speak and the mental processes involved so under this process as language acquisition starts right from you can see when an infant gains uh, bit sense and when he starts to understand what the people are saying or what is being said in front of him so uh, I, like uh, the child's brain starts to understand uh, to you can say um, uh, to grasp uh, or uh, to encode those messages uh, being said in front of that and after encoding the brain starts decoding those messages it starts to comprehend and in the form of a response at a, like a, when the child is at the early stage of language actually uh, in the form of what will be the response like going sound or babbling sound until unless he wants uh, uh, to utter uh, a clear speech sound so uh, at uh, in any form uh, our brain uh, produces responses it provides feedback and uh, then uh, the individual starts to learn language it starts to uh, acquire language so all these functions all these processes are understood under under psycholinguistics so to conclude we can say that psycholinguistics is a field which deals uh, with the uh, you can say um, which deals um, with the relationship between language and psychology and how uh, the reaction how the functions occur in human brain when it uh, receives some message or you can say in speech production process so that's all about psychology we will continue